In today's video, we are discussing who Arthur Ford is, what his plans were, and where he is now. Now, we are doing this video because he has a direct impact on Bone Lab, although it might not seem like it. It's also always good to know what happened in Boneworks because Bone Lab is based in the same universe. So, without further ado, let's get into Arthur Ford's story. Arthur Ford, born in 1963, formerly worked for a company called Gammon. At the age of 33, he decides to do something that nobody else dared to, transcend into the void. It is believed that he wanted to help Gammon and take down Monogon Industries, and is further supported by lore inside the game. On the surface inside the game, he sought to bring down Monogon Industries by sabotaging their operations from within. However, his true goal was to achieve immortality. He believed that by uploading his consciousness into the void, it transcend the limitations of human mortality and live forever. He initiated a virus into the simulated reality of MythOS, a virtual world that existed outside of the physical realm. The virus caused the simulation lockdown, resulting in chaos and destruction throughout the virtual world. The null bodies that inhabited MythOS malfunctioned, becoming hostile and violent and sentient. Null bodies are non-sentient creatures made by the Voidmind AI. They are meant to work and simply do as they are told. They later on become sentient because they are drinking a drink called Melon Belly. They were taught how to ferment melons using void energy. This void energy in the drink makes them become sentient and attack the player. The people who taught them how to make melon belly are known as Lava Gang. They're a group that resides in the void and loves to torment people, especially the MythOS devs. Ford went throughout the entirety of MythOS, including unfinished parts, defeating null bodies, and omni projectors. Omni projectors are like a antivirus, stopping Ford and anything that's not supposed to be there. As a result of his actions, Ford's physical body was destroyed in August of 1996. However, his consciousness was not so easily defeated. He managed to detach himself from his physical form and upload his consciousness into the void. Today, Ford is still alive, but only in the void. He exists as a ghost in a machine trapped in a digital prison of his own making. His existence is a testament to his own ambition, as well as his willingness to sacrifice everything that makes us human to live in an immortal world so he can create and build and do as he pleases. Stop, and I can't. 